G'day, Annette here. Well, I've just done my five minute workout. Well, I think my abs are gonna be sore tomorrow. You know, who would think three simple little exercises in five minutes could really make you puffed? Well, it did. But I'm wondering, are you obsessed with the scales? I know I was previously, before starting with our Osaline and our True Health Challenge and all that sort of stuff, I was very obsessed with the scales. Well, I did a little experiment this morning. Before I did my morning pee, so this could get a little bit gross, but before I did my morning pee, I actually jumped on the scales. Now, I was 65 kilos. I went to the toilet, I did my pee, and I jumped back on the scales just to see if there would be any difference. Now, this was in a matter of, you know, minutes. And there was, I was 64.6. So that's 400 grams that I peed out this morning. And that was only a little pee. So just think it, if you're backed up in the back passage, how much is that affecting your weight? Because you're not getting rid of the waste. So this is why we can't rely on the scales because the changes and fluctuate so much during the day, depending on what you've eaten, depending on if you've only just eaten or how much you've eaten, what foods you've eaten, if you've been able to pee or poop, you know, we can't go by the scales. You know what, for us women, that time of the month, man, that really plays havoc with our weight on the scales. So this is why doing your centimeters and going by how your clothes feel is so much important than those scales. You know, you can use them for a guideline, but really don't get obsessed with them. Get obsessed with the tape measure and how much your clothes feel. And that's the true indication of whether you've lost that unwanted fat or not. Scales are just nasty. So you know what, don't worry about them. Work on the centimeters, work on how your clothes feel and get your heart pumping and get rid of that unwanted fat. So until tomorrow, catch us all later.